We're live. We are live. Ooh. Ooh. Until we're not, because the end is nigh. Hello, everybody. Hi, how are you? This is Heather. I am joined in the booth by... Chris Person. How's everyone doing? Chris Person. How's everybody doing? And this is The End Is Nigh. This is a new platformer by Edmund McMillan, who you might remember as one of the co-creators of Super Meat Boy. And... It's also um, Tyler Gliel, Gl- 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 I can't pronounce his last name, but he used to make a lot of cool stuff on Newgrounds and a couple other games as well. So there's a very distinct visual style here. And it's also just a really good platformer. So we're going to get right into it. And you guys can see me die a lot. Here we go. This is how the story starts. Okay, we're going to load up one of my favorite games here. Uh, here we have uh, The End Is Now. Classic old school platforming game, and uh, you know it's one of my favorites. One of my favorite games. It's got your classic controls. Got your jumping. You got, you got your going left and right, and like what? Oh shit! Oh no! 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 Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh god! No, this can't be broke. Here, let me. We get cartridge out. I forget who this guy is, but everybody, when I wrote about this game, they were like, "It's this guy." But I want you guys to listen oh, and enjoy. No, it's still not working. Oh, fuck. Fuck, what am I going to do? Fuck! Sorry, sorry about the swears. It's okay. Yeah. We are we are all adults, and if you're yeah. not, you one day will be. It's okay. Dear anybody reading this. So this is Ash. Probably He's the main character of the game. Be surprising. Everybody else is. A little bit like a meat boy. Kind of a I think he's made out of a... Out of, like, goop. Most of them. Yeah. Yeah, and like, all all, you know, like goop so and like cancer tumors, which makes sense for a uh, McMillan game, which tends to be focused on a lot of like bodily stuff. That looks very much like Isaac, for instance. Mm-hmm. Outside, it's a dangerous, twisted place. Death, decay, death mostly. He's going to make a friend. Like literally, make a friend. Collecting tumors, spitting teeth for distance. Hey, you know, if I do it right, repopulate the world. It won't be easy, but I have nothing left to lose, except my other eye. Oh well, fuck it. If anyone has questions, yeah, just we were let being, us know. I'm here. I'm monitoring the chat. Yeah, we were being quiet just so you guys could see the very brief amount of story at the start, because then it goes straight into platforming. This is mean, by the way, like because you think like I'm going to a new thing, and then like you can fall and die if you're not careful. These are little collectible, like, tumor buddies. They're kind of, like, getting extra bandages and stuff in Meat Boy. And then there's these wonderful little skulls that you can go around. Very good music, solid presentation. Um, it doesn't it doesn't always stay in this kind of grayscale setting. So if you're, like, like for me, I was like, this is cool, but I hope it's not just all, like, grays and blacks entirely. Don't worry, it's not. Mm-hmm. Um, let's grab this tumor when it comes back. And just keep on jumping and keep on going. Um, you don't have a like a wall jump the same way you do in Meat Boy. So if I tried to jump off the wall there, I'm just gonna fall and die. You can see. Uh, instead, you have these little hooks that you sorry can grab onto. The... Sorry. Oh no. Uh, what are we apologizing for? Oh, I was just gonna say sorry for the game audio being low. The uh, intro is a little quieter than the rest of the game, so I just want to make sure we're not like. Oh, blasting. interesting. No, sorry guys. Um, only thing I was saying is, like, there are these hooks, and if you push off these hooks, you get a lot of distance, which is very, very nice. Um, and basically what you're meant to do, although that one's a little... Like, this is a scary little jump there. I almost was going to end up on those spikes. Um, and then here, we want that tumor, and we just want to keep on going. Um, so, despite my hesitations with this game about, like, how it feels very much like, oh, this is... It's not quite Meat Boy, but it still feels a lot like Meat Boy, and I, I kind of wanted to see McMillan do something a little bit different, especially after how much, um, sort of like, how much the Binding of Isaac had been uh, milked for a, for a long, long time. I still can't deny that the platforming in this game is, like, fucking amazing. Pardon my language again. I have to work on that. Um, it feels right. It feels so right. Um, and we're not grabbing all the tumors right now because I want to show you guys levels, which means going through a ton. But, like, like there's a trick here in the sense of, like, you want to be careful and maybe grab only, like, yeah. one of the platforms. So it's, like, 
but you don't want to go too far because there are spikes. Someone says background music is the Danse Macabre by Camille Saint-Saëns. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I never took French. Is it French. really? I never, I never realized that that it was a like actual piece of music. Um, but you can see they're trying to get the uh, the tumors, like the little extra things. There's a lot of different variations that can happen even early in the game where it's like almost turns into like a puzzle platformer where you're trying to figure out exactly what uh, what you can and cannot afford to grab. So like for instance, I want to grab that tumor because it's right up there. And so you're you're trying to find pathways, but you're also trying to match those pathways and like try and find like proper ways to navigate quickly in your mind so like I want to do this which is good um, and if I want to I can actually use that to fall back down and make the jump and everything is hunky door it works out really well um, that, this one's like about fall control and I probably won't get it but like mm -hmm. people are asking uh, price I think it's 15 bucks on um, Steam yeah it's around 15 dollars yeah um, and I'm just gonna leave that behind we're currently the, uh, playing on we're playing on PC. We're it's, playing on it's, PC. It's currently available um, pretty much, I, I believe, exclusively, as a matter of fact, on PC. Although it will be coming to the Nintendo Switch in the future, there's no definite date on that. So though. if you see somebody on like a subway platform really, really stressed out yeah, looking this, at a Nintendo is, Switch, it's probably this. This is probably the reason for it. Um, that or they got owned in Zelda or something. That's true. Could have gotten uh, yeah. beat up by a moblin of some kind. Um, so, uh, Jason says, uh, awesome stream. Thanks, guys. I'm like, hey, yeah. You're an awesome person, Jason. Now I'm trapped because I tried to get the tumor. Yeah. Um, you got to kill yourself. Just got to kill myself. I don't mm. know if I'm going to really grab all of them right now. The thing I will say is this. Uh, play this game with a controller, and you will be the happiest person in the world. It feels so good. I'm playing right now on an Xbox Elite controller, which is mm -hmm. also a controller that feels like the most comfortable thing on the planet. Yeah. It's my favorite type of controller. Um, Craig says uh, the Rich Evans cutscenes are well on, uh, are worth it. So that's, Yeah, they're that, pretty fun. Yeah, it, 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 it was also interesting there to stream something with a streamer in-game. Yeah. It's very meta. I don't, I don't really know as much of, of Rich Evans, but um, I know a lot of people who were really excited to tell me, like, oh, the, oh like, that guy's in it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's cool that, like, smaller games are allowing, you know, popular personalities to get there, provided it's, like, you know, yeah, there's, there's nothing this, weird about it. There's you know? this nice little marriage of, um, like, community and developers in a way that I think is, is really, really cool and fun. You, you want to make sure that, like, there's there's distance when it's, like, somebody who's doing coverage, obviously. Right. You know, and, like, you, you got to, like, make sure, you know, like, oh, yeah, I'm in this. So but, they're, like, like... Go ahead. I was just going to say, um, if you're interested about how this all works uh, compared to Meat Boy, where in Meat Boy, levels were kind of separated. They were kind of their self-contained thing. This is much more uh, together. This is much more something like V, 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 or mm -hmm. V five times, I think mm -hmm. it is. And then um, also a little bit like I want to be the guy or I want to be the boshi. I love I want to be the guy. Yeah, it, it's a little bit like that in the sense that the, the spaces are interconnected. A um, little bit of Metroid in there too, right? Kind of built into that DNA. Metroid's Prime. Yes. Um, and then this is more just like the challenge here is going to be getting through this world, this um, because there are all these enemies now. And that's another thing that I like. Uh, the world feels a little bit more alive because there's like actual like actual dudes in it and like little little scruffy monsters and I like that a ton. Um, yeah. Kind of like a, was like, remember World of Goo? Yeah, a little bit. I and mean, then, it's, it's a little more stylized than World of Goo. World of Goo kind of had a sort of gradient-y. Yeah. Um, this tends to stay like a little bit more solid in its color screen uh, scheme. Yeah. Which is a good look. I keep on falling because I kind of want to grab that other tumor. A sentence that I never thought I'd be yeah, really so saying. Yeah, it's a outside of video games. That sentence is kind of troubling. Yeah, I'm not really sure about this. One, I mean, so I guess also really if you're like a, if you're if you're in cancer research, maybe. Yeah, like, if you're, you're like, like oh, I want to get that one. If you're in like Sloan Kettering and you just like do doing work research, like yes. oh yeah, could you grab that tumor? Or like you're trying to beat it up. Yeah. This is. Um, I don't think I can get in here yet because I need to die a little bit more so I need to die like 50 times it keeps track of how much you've died on like your status screen mm -hmm. um, so this is a game that's very much concerned with its own like uh, kind of self-imposed sadism which is interesting I guess mm -hmm. um, I've never been too fond of games that are self-consciously like difficult or mean about their difficulty which is why I usually forgive Dark Souls because Dark Souls is just kind of like oh you died um, but like this game, I feel like this would be a game that would maybe make fun of you for dying. 
um, in some way. Although maybe there's something really cool behind that door. You never know. Could be something uh, really essential and really cool. There we go. We got that tumor nice and easy that time. If you guys do have questions, give a shout out in the chat and we will we will chill and talk. Um, I'm, I'm kind of focusing on platforming, but it's, yeah. not, it's not terrible. Uh, this one is a little bit, uh, it's not quite a puzzle, right? But it is more about a making sure you're moving a little bit more optimally and paying attention to the path of what's going on. Um, I say as I die, but paying attention to the path a little while longer. To get the tumor, you actually have to go through this room twice, which is not, we're probably gonna skip that one. Yeah. <laughs> Once I get to the end, I'm like, oh no, let's let's keep on going to the next level. In terms of like cruelty though, I still think I wanna be the guy is like my favorite because it's the funniest. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, I wanna be the guy is hard and like you die in the credits if you don't move, which is like, that's great. Um, but it's also like that game can seem pretty cool. Look, you don't even need to stand on the cube. Yeah, no, I so mean great. like, I, the whole point is that I wanna be the guy is meant to be cruel. Like yeah. the whole joke is that it's cruel and like it knows what it is, um, you know. All right, this is a little bit more There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Don't really... I don't have a full understanding of how these work. I think... <laughs> no, there's a lot of spikes. Like, I don't... If you, if you like, do a, an around thing. There we go. Well, no, it's more like I don't understand how the springs work entirely. Like, you hold it a little bit, but it doesn't always control the way that you would think it would. Okay. Um, like, that's how much height I can get, and then... Xavier asks, this is for PC? And the answer is, yes. yes. It is on PC. Is I PC. have to imagine that it will be coming to every goddamn platform ever. Uh, but yeah. for now, it is on PC. It looks coming like it, to Switch eventually, blah, 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 right? It looks like it's scaled for being ported to every device it can get on. Yeah, I, I have to imagine that this will uh, end up on like Mac and Linux pretty quick. Yeah. And then it'll be... like These are the things where it's like, oh, a couple months later, maybe like a year later, there's like a version that will end up on PlayStation 4 and like Xbox and things yeah. like that. There's a tumor there. That, that, that used to be a lot, when they slow down when they're near you. That's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I think it's so that they, they, they can catch you when well, you're it's also, messing up your jumps. They also look like they're inspecting you too. Like the yeah, eyes the eyes are kind you. of following, That's which really is cool. a bit unsettling. Um, like, well, they, it, it makes you like hate them less. It's just sort of like, No, they're, they're just kind of chilling. Yeah. And like, oh, but the, like I want to see speedrunners do this for sure. Cause I am just like not, why you getting there? Um, there we go. Perfect. Someone, oh, Daniel says, uh, this seems a lot slower paced than Super Meat Boy. I think it is um, a little slower paced. I think there's a lot more room to like recover, but I think that's because, I think it's that's uh, that comes from it being uh, not focused on just like clearing a single level. Come on, jump yeah. up so I can get this thing. There um, but I also need to jump up again to get uh, over here. Um, I think if these were like individual levels the way that Meat Boy is, there would be a lot more, um, there would be a faster pace because then like when you die, you only have to like kind of like just load up that level and get like, get right done it, uh, through it, done it. Yeah. I don't even know what that means, but I think here it's more a matter of, um, there's more downtime in the game world because they like want you to feel like you're exploring it yeah. and getting to know it. Um, uh, David Ward says, feels like Super Meat Boy was hoping for something new from that developer. Yeah, that, I think that's a lot of the sort of back and forth about this game. That's, like, I mean, I, more? I fall under that camp mostly as well. Uh, God, I'm having trouble with this segment. Um, I remember like Mugenics was going to be a thing that was coming out and then that got canceled. And I was kind of excited for Mugenics because I, I wanted to see like a, something a little different. Um, and I wonder, and this this is purely speculative, um, I wonder if, like, going back to this, I'm dying so much because I'm talking, um, like, it, like, I'm curious if he could get Tommy Refrains back back for something, like, if, like, that's what's stopping it from being Meat Boy 2, or... Oh, God, this is a really hard part. Well, no, I'm just bad at controlling okay. these enemies. Right, yeah, like that's go. a yeah. little bit better. Also, trying to talk about like a game development yes. while doing that is always a pain. Streaming in the and stuff is uh, confusing. Oh crap! Yeah. There we go. Someone said, "Hope the monotone theme isn't uh, isn't theme the theme throughout." Um, I'm not sure. Right. So like, there's another. I think the area after this is like a dark cave. 
um, but there's a little bit more like uh, softer colors there, like cold colors like blues and things like that. Yeah. Um, I think for a game that's focused on the apocalypse, there we go, got that other tumor. A game that's focused on the apocalypse, like I can kind of forgive the uh, darker scheme. I'm dying. It's, it's um, not uh, call it like mid two thousands monochrome. You know? No, it's like, like it's not. It's not like I'm playing just another like brown like sepia toned shooter. This is a little bit more um, deliberate in its art direction, so I kind of forgive it a little bit more. Um, I don't know if that's the right way to handle it, but yeah. if that's the way I'm going to. Um, why am I stuck on this platform? Let's get through here. Ah! They jump like frogs. Get out of here. Oh, there's a... The, those little skull frogs are messing me up right now. Skull Frog is the name of my new band. Okay. Gotta jump. Cool. Nice. I like the music in this area a lot. Daniel says Meat Boy 2 is announced. I thought it was more just like it could happen. But yeah, I don't know if there's like... Is that like a formal thing? Perhaps it is because sometimes I lose track of that sort yeah. of thing. Um, but for me, but for me, it's also like, well, then if Meat Boy 2 is announced, I don't, I don't understand this game's spiel entirely. That's a bad jump. Yeah, that's, um, this is hard. Oh. Well, you can go. also jump onto like the edges where these spikes are. There we go. Um, so we can do something course, like that. Of course, everything is hard for me because I'm horrible at platformers. I love platforming. Yeah. And then this is a little bit different, where we're going to have to do like slamming ourselves down a little bit faster to get through certain areas. Um, so this is still gray, but like it's, you paddle yourself up through the water and then, but you have to be careful because these, uh, these waterfalls push you down pretty easy. Mm -hmm. um, and right now it's pretty simple, but then it gets into a lot more of like, oh, you gotta, you gotta rush on down. Let's grab that tumor and let's keep going with this amazing platforming skills of mine. Uh, the tumor's moving way too fast. Wait, if I do this, will I get it? Yes. There we go. Of course, there, of course, there's a spike right at the start of the entrance of the level, though. That's a little cheap. Oh, we need to... Let's get this. Let's get this tumor up here. I first gotta get through the water again. And then time my jump on this. My friend Poncho says, uh, talk about media he's consuming. Classic Chris person move. Poncho, I... God damn it, Poncho. No, it's really tempting for me to... Get yeah. owned on the stream. No, to go get this tumor. But it's also tempting for, yeah, for anybody to own us on stream, because I think the fruit's low hanging there. I think it's very easy to get owned. God. Poncho in particular is just he Poncho, loves to own me. Poncho is a little Come on. Piece of <laughs> It's not really Five cats having much? Yeah. Yeah, slow yeah, down. Take that, take that, Poncho. Okay. There we go. I was like, what is the pathway through this? I couldn't see the other hook and now I do. I just see uh co like it's not even code to me anymore. It's like when Neo finally sees yeah, all of the It's a uh... I just see uh girl with the red hair. Oh, you know what? I'm doing it wrong. Yeah. You want to go through the entire level there bouncing on heads, although I messed up that end, end point there. Yeah, jumping there's this thing where you can jump a ton if you tap. Giovanni says I really like uh, quotes with us. I really like the music in the series. Of course, it's Dvorak Symphony from the New World, one of the best pieces of music in history. Yeah, we get it. It's classic music. We just oh, like this it. is actually um, this is tricky because there's uh, there's like this poison acid water that you have to get through. So it's like I have to dive down. I'm already gonna die here. Um, and then you can only just touch it a little. Right? So I kind of have to hop around like this. Yeah. I'm already going to die here, too, because a block fell and got in my way. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a little different than, like, raw platforming. This is more just, like... Survival. Yeah, and, like, button button tapping and a couple other things. Um, right? 
you only have a very limited amount of time here, and then here you want to keep right at the top of the um, of the water. But you, that Sonic if, 3, if you go too high, those spikes are gonna eat. Sonic Three style moving water, but different. Yeah, a little bit. The way it cascades up actually makes me think of the fire that shows up at the end of um, Angel uh, Island Zone or whatever it is in Sonic Three. If we're talking about Sonic. Angel Island Zone? What the hell is that first level called again? I don't know. I actually went to a friend's party and they they like just had a Sonic party. It was just like they just had a bunch of Sonic. Yeah, crap. might as well. Yeah, might as well. Um, Life is hectic. It was just uh, and it was, you, you want to go fast. It was just during the winter, so it was like when when there was like when New York turns into a goddamn hellscape and you're just like, all right, well, might as well. Man, winter's cool. I like. But like, it. Uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't played like Sonic two or three in a while and Adventure two. I didn't touch in a million years oh that's right there are these little like gas dudes now too so like if i stay in here it's just like being in the water yeah so you just gotta be careful like these little fucking gas bag dudes and you can so only... that's how you get that tumor is you have to like jump through real quickly yeah so i would have, have to, to somehow happy ones on the left. Well, actually i would probably do something oh yeah bounce on him yeah but it's not quite great so we're not actually gonna focus too much on the tumors i think because I think I just want to keep on getting through to new areas and new levels to show you guys exactly um, yeah. some of the cool uh, like level and space design in this game. Because uh, ignoring the fact that I've already mentioned like this controls really well, I think um, like McMillan is able to make a uh, very good uh, like just interesting levels to go through. Oh, um, okay. So he's like just yeah, expanding the gas. The it's more getting better through. or like bigger, not yeah. better. Uh, gotta wait for this guy to go up a little higher, though. Just get rid of that tumor. And the thing for that tumor is that you just kind of bounce, yeah. like, out of it. Like, you... Well, don't, don't do what I did. Um, but here it's like, he just keeps on making things bigger and bigger, and so you just want to try and keep out of it, but that's really, really hard. Yeah. Um, Someone said the live feed is very stressful. Yep, that's a, that's a, a McMillan game. <laughs> Oh god, I keep on messing up my bounce off this guy. Yeah. I got through this, so I, I I will cop up to the fact that I've been playing a fair amount on this game over the last like two days or so, mm -hmm. and it's just like even when I think that I've gotten better at this game, it's still there are still moments where I'm like, oh no, I'm just dying again. Yeah. Okay. It, I'm trying to be careful because I want to grab onto the edge where the spikes are, but if you're like that can go wrong yeah. very quickly. Yeah, here we go. Nick Dole says hi. Hi, Nick. How are you? Doing great? Having a good time? Oh god, where do I go from there? Where do you go from there? Where where do we where go? Where do any of us go from here? Where do we go now? Jesus. Wow, wow. Set me up for it. Yeah. Why? It's not. Yeah, just immediately right. all the all the streamers just like all the people. There leave. we go. We want to bounce like that, and then if we want to get the tumor, we can actually jump back down and go back and do it again. But we're not gonna. As, sorry, as sorry, little tumor buddy. I look like skull pandas. Oh no. Fish. Oh no. Um, I, right. as always, questions and comments. We're yeah, here of course. Them. You, I think people are just captivated by the by the platforming. This is a timing thing, and it's kind of tricky. I want to make sure I get the... James says, Platformers, in my opinion, have little payoff for such a time invested. That's my terrible opinion, though. It's hmm. bad. Yeah, There's... you shouldn't have that opinion. No. There's nothing wrong There's with nothing having wrong. that opinion. Yeah. Um, it depends on like what you think is like a proper reward for this sort of thing. Yeah. And my response to that is, I don't know. Yeah, it depends it, on who you is are. Is it collectibles? Is it a really cool story? I think that uh, that assessment changes no matter who you are. There's only, wanna... one, there's only one worthwhile platformer, and that's a little game called Braid. Have you... <laughs> you, heard, you guys heard about this game called Braid? This game is crazy. It's not about anything. Look, you can just make the guy go back and forth. I... Ha, ha, ha. The Soldier Boy review... The Soldier Boy review. ...of Braid is one of the most Braid brutal is, things oh I've gosh. ever read in my life. If you guys don't know about that Soldier Boy... Soldier Boy, I am... Or very scene, well. I guess. Yeah, yeah. So he played that game when it came out, and, like... Jonathan Blow is very much like, oh yes, my my yeah, playing my, my big important game. He plays Tai Chi out and like and does Tai Chi and stuff. He's already like that, Zen guy. <laughs> and that review is just like, oh no, this game's not even about anything. No, you can just like make the guy fall and like rewind and fuck. 
back him up. Yeah, it's, it's just so like, fucking it's, funny. It's just such a brutal uh, thing where he's like, this is a game called Braid. This is like a little Mario guy in a suit. You don't even do nothing. There's nothing. Like, oh, just, just the idea just that there's nothing. Devastatingly, like, just like, he's like, yeah, no, it's, like, it's kind of cool, I guess. So it wants you to... There's like two forked paths here, and this is where it actually gets a little bit more like uh, v- yes. v- 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 three technically and, uh, I think. everything. Yeah, there's one up top too, so it doesn't tell you, but you can break through the things there, or we can go down into a cave. I've actually never gone right yet. I want to see what it is. Um, <sighs> Warp point. Although actually, maybe I do. Oh, actually, I'm stuck there. No, I'm not. Am I? I'm curious. No, if you want to break through, you could. Um, no, let's go in the cave. Why not? I changed my mind. The hollows. So it is a little bit more monochromatic, but it is still um, I like the more color. It's very satisfying to like get through those walls. Yeah, to jump through them and everything, it's real nice. Um, I'm excited to see speedrunners do like. Yeah, this like, is gonna be gosh, I want to see if I can even time it to. So I want to break through like that sort of thing, like, and that's not even like aha speedrunning, but like. Like, just good fluid movement in games, which I don't always achieve, um, as evidenced by what's happening hard. here. Like, that's just fun. And that's one of the things I actually really adore and, and enjoy about platformers. Mm. It's just optimizing movement and, and getting through a space in a way that is... Um... Why am I having trouble bouncing off of this guy? Oh, no. I'm messing it up. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. It's it's actually much harder to get the bounce that you want off these guys. There we go. Like you can't always do it when you land right on them. Yeah. They're cute though. Oh no. I did that level so well and then I died. Yeah, they're adorable. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with little adorable dudes. Jump up, go around, and there we go. This one is trickier, though, because it's all about jumping on enemies. Oh, gosh. No! Messed it up at the end. Difficulty seemed to get a lot harder very quickly. Yeah, it starts to spike a ton. Um, that's, which that's... for some people might be a deal breaker, but for me it's like I've understood most of the basic controls at this point. The difficulty now is like figuring out how to control the jumps. Yeah, I I don't know I like um... so like here it's like yeah. I can't I only have so much time to bounce you on that guy. You have to time it I think so that it uh... right. But if you even go like a little too wrong on these like oh I went too hard on that one um, right. Yeah. It's compelling, but it's also tricky. Oh, God, yeah, that, that's that's a really short margin. Yeah, I'll get there. Oh, no. Again, I would be more chatty if I wasn't focused on being yeah. the best I'll, platformer I'll, ever. I'll like, be the one. I'm the Ash Ketchum of... Uh... Now without Brock and Misty. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, they retconned out Brock and Misty from oh one gosh. of those Pokemon movies I read. People got really upset. People I know who don't even pay attention to that crap got upset by that. Well, it's like they remember from their childhood. Yeah. I watched a ton of Pokemon. I don't remember anything about it. I remember that, like, what was it four kids did the dubs? So there we hell go. Yeah. So it was like, you know, I remember, like, do you guys want some jelly donuts? Oh, because, like, they didn't understand. They didn't have, like, yeah, bean buns. Di- like, yeah, di- yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a timing thing to you, though. There we go. Oh, that's cool. That's a fun one. Now this is also just timing with enemies in a cave that's kind of hard to see. See, like, this is a segment that I would I would love to see what the optimal movement looks like of just, like, a speedrunner who's oh, yeah. spent, like, 40 hours of their life. Yeah, like, I'm not going to... Trying to figure out how to get through here and just, like, doing it in, like, one solid, uninterrupted moment. That's just... Oh. I, I, I'm not probably not going to get this game just because, like, these games stress me out. Oh, and, for sure. Like, if I want that, I'll just watch the new Twin Peaks. Yes. Uh, but, like, I will watch the hell out of a streamer play it, though. I will, like, oh, yeah. somebody who's just, like, a perfect run, like, on like a YouTube perfect run, I'll watch those for, like, two hours, maybe. Just, Where like, 
Where maybe, do I, I go? Know, 20 minutes, however long it takes them. Oh, I think. Oh, yeah. no. I have to go and touch the other side, too. So I wonder how quickly I can. Because I think that makes the ceiling go? There it is. Cool. Yeah, the ceiling falls, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. And now I think this is demon water, too, right? Yeah. yeah it's so boiling. It's not. Can I jump through there? I wonder. Yeah, I think you can. Ah, oh, it's tempting. Ah. Oh. Uh, does that thing kill you, or does it like bring you through there? It's gotta kill me. Yeah, it's gotta kill you. I assume because it has an X on it, it's gonna kill you. This might be the screen where I admit defeat. Oh, this can you drop down really quickly? Yeah. Which I'm trying to. Yeah. Right, like dive, but then getting back up is hard. Yeah. Also, I gotta wait for that thing to get further away. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. So now you just have to... There we go. There I'm we go. a champion. Hell yeah. I'm the best around. Oh, that's confusing. And then you just got... Oh god, it's a triple tiered... Oh no! This is great. This is this is oh this could, this could be the one. No, no, you can do this. I believe in you. Ah! Oh no! I mean, you just gotta like hustle over there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm not high enough to. I have okay. to do it when I fall. Yeah, or else you have to restart the whole damn thing. All right, I, I, I think go. you got this. I think you got this. No, I gotta be fast. Oh, foil. Okay, cool. Drop down again. I gotta hop up, I hop up. Okay. Oh no, I messed that up. Gotta go, gotta go. Is this, if I touch that, will the wall do anything? Probably not. Oh god, these, these things are freaking me out right now. Yeah. The water actually freaks me out more than anything. Uh, the concept of, bo of having to swim through boiling water is like very Buddhist hell. Also makes me think of uh, Batman Forever. Which one? There's like at the start, they're in a bank vault. Huh. And it, um, Two Face puts acid in it and the guy goes, oh no! Oh. Boiling hot ass! <laughs> Cool, I'd forgotten all about that part. There you go. I'm giving you guys the best thing. The only thing most people remember about that is uh, Kiss Kiss by a Rose. Kiss by a Rose, which if you've ever seen the music video for Kiss by a Rose, features uh, some of the worst editing ever. Oh, it's not good. Because it's just like they, they'll, they like they had to like... They were like, we have all this footage of Batman, and they were like, okay. Well, let's just put it in there, and it's not even like the romantic crap that happens in that movie, which there's a decent amount of. It's like... No, there's plenty of like Nicole Kidman. Yeah, in there, yeah, yeah. But they, it's also just like fit that in there. random action scenes. There's stuff. like a yeah. There's like, a, they just do whatever they can. There's a shot of like Jim Carrey, like just uh, I don't know how you'd say it, like like creeping. I think like like yeah, uh, probably. So yeah, he's, like, he's lurking in one of the shots, and it's in the middle of like one of the. Do it, 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 do it. How do I get through there? That's so terrifying. Oh, I think I might need to. I I have a plan for it. Oh, now I have that song in my head. Baby. There it is. Synchronized. Yeah. You only get that kind of s synchronization on our stream. Yeah. Only after you've worked uh, very close with a with a good friend. Yeah. Oh, that's such a hard dive to make. Especially I don't know how to fix seal. it. I don't know. This might be the final screen to conquer before we... Um, yeah. Call quits. Or maybe I, it defeats me. No, I think you can do this. I think you have to, like, drop really quickly and then get up. Yeah, I just don't... No. I'm going to button mash like it's my job. And, well, technically, technically, I mean, like, in this, mo job. in this moment yeah. right now, my job is button mashing. It is what pays your I'm going to die here. Yeah, oh, gosh. Ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There's bad guys everywhere. This one's really hard. Yeah, deceptively so. I thought it would actually be not as hard as the other ones. Oh, yeah, but I'm also pancaking. Big time pancaking. I love pancakes. 
Yeah, they're pretty great. Oh, right at the edge! Right at the edge! This is it. This is this is the one. This is the run. Come on. Come on. Well. Well. Not when that thing's no, there. No, no, no. Bad time of that. Oh, God. This is so stressful. You're right. You're right. This is. Oh, no, because the other one was there, and if I tried to jump, I would have died. Yeah. Oh, God. The water's the worst. I'm going to die here. How do I get through this? How do I get through um, this? I think... Figuring out the fastest way to get under and over, is think I think, is what's going to make or break this. Yeah, see that drop you did? Yeah. See, see how fast no, you're you, right, for sure. You went down, and then you had to come back up. Oh, God. I keep on getting to the apex of that right as the... Um, yeah. The one on the other side is there, which is a problem. Yeah, right? Yeah. You keep second guessing too. Yeah, I do, I do, you're right. Someone says Sir Yuja is just streaming at Kotaku headquarters at home. Right now we're at Head HQ, um, but we do stream on Twitch. I do, I stream at Twitch um, on Tuesdays, uh, Thursdays, and Saturdays. We are doing, right now, uh, playthroughs of specific games. So we are doing a playthrough of. Oh, do uh, no, 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 no. Oh, We're doing a playthrough of Heavy Rain on Tuesdays, which we are probably going to finish this upcoming Tuesday. Yeah. We are doing Wolfenstein The New Order, which I have to imagine we'll finish sometime. Um... Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, it's mm. so close. It's so close every time. That will finish in the next couple weeks. After we finish um, Heavy Rain, we're going to move on to L.A. Noir, ah, which is going to be super great. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I got like one or two attempts left in me, Chris. Otherwise, we might have to go out with a whimper and not with the bang that we wanted. Yeah, I think. This is so hard. This all is right, really all hard, right. yeah. All or nothing. Okay. Okay. What if I. Mm. Oh, that was actually a valid strategy, I think. Yeah, right. I think that. Maybe that's. Yeah. Oh, the, well, the swinging thing, of course, is going to kill me. Why not? I'm not paying attention. I'm so worried about the water. Yeah. These guys don't worry me this too is much. so stressful. Oh, boy, oh boy. Gotta wait for that thing to move. Ah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know if I. Yeah. Is it a matter of me not button mashing? I enough? think it. I think it's that drop. This is. I may be leading you astray. No, that's well. I'm dead. I'm so I'm getting there more consistently now, but it's just. Ugh. God. There's probably some trick, and we're just not. Oh boy. No, I gotta figure out the right timing for this. Do I have to touch anything? Maybe? It's right on the edge. Yeah, That's and it's terrible, terrible. And making sure you don't catch that, uh, that you don't catch that bottom corner, because that's the thing that that's like just. Yeah, it's messing with me a ton. So it's like, ha! Oh, it's so, it's right there! It's, oh, right, it's there, right there! It's right there! It's right there! Victory is with insight. I swear. We'll get through this, you guys. I swear oh. to God. Well, now we can't quit. We're last. No, we're almost there. Fuck. How do I? How do I? How do I? How do I? We're brute forcing this, and there's some easy way. I'll be pissed. No, I don't know. Uh, I really don't know. Chris, we might have to. We might have to just throw in that towel. Someone says that hitbox is killing you. Just the teeniest tip. One more, one more. It's, oh, you get right to the edge. I mean, they designed it perfectly, this right? Is this really, is like, this is very smart this from a like, design perspective, but if, like, oh. If this was Vegas, we would have, we, I would, went we would so be far mortgaging down, our houses at this oh, point yeah, if no. we had them. I, my children, <laughs> that be, money was for Marlene's schooling, and it turns out, no. Come on, just one more. She's not. Marlene ain't going to school. No, sorry, Barrett. I 
feel like there's a trick here to get that block out of my way. But I you might mean be wrong. The, the one in the. Uh... So, like, when I'm touching certain things there, they're falling, right? Do you think it happens on that other one? On That's the other what side? I'm wondering. Right. It's an actual concern of mine. Well, now. then, give like, the experiment with that. No, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, no. there's no drop block. I there. don't think I can. I don't think I can do it. All right. One. This is the last. All right. Yeah. No. I'm tapping my button as fast yeah, as I can. I saw that. All right, guys. Well, I love you, but this yeah. is super hard, and we'll figure it out later. This has been the end is nigh. It's uh, it's really fun, but also really really difficult. We made some good progress though. Uh, yeah. This has been Heather and Chris, and we will see you around. God damn that boiling I water! I know the boiling water.